Hello, and welcome to Sumo Logic's tutorial on how to collect logs from Azure Block Blob Storage. Sumo Logic's Azure Block Blob Storage solution provides an event based pipeline for shipping monitoring data from your storage to an HTTP source on Sumo Logic. This video will demonstrate how to configure an Azure to Sumo pipeline for shipping those available logs from the Azure Block Blob Storage to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. The first step is to create and configure a storage account to which we will be able to export monitoring data for our Azure service. The storage account you create must be a GPV2 storage account, that is, a general purpose version 2. If you already have an Azure storage account with some other container, make a note of its resource group, storage account name, and storage account region, and you can proceed to step 2. If you do not have an Azure storage account, create a new general purpose v2 storage account, and note that all services in Azure will create containers automatically. If you want to export custom logs in some other container, only in that case create a container in your storage account. You can create an Azure storage account using the Microsoft Azure portal URL at https portal.azure.com slash home. Log into the portal with your Microsoft login credentials, and on the Azure Services homepage, click Storage Accounts. On the Storage Accounts page, on the top menu bar, click Create. On the following page, fill out the required details on the Basics tab. In the Project Details section, you can select a subscription plan. For this demo, we'll retain the default option, Product Pay As You Go. Next, create a resource group by clicking Create New. In the pop-up that appears, type in the resource group name and click OK. In the Instance Details section, type in the storage account name. Note that the storage account name can include only lowercase letters, with no numbers or special characters allowed. Next, select the region using the drop-down list. For this demonstration, we'll retain the default value, East US. For performance and redundancy, we'll also retain the default values. Ensure that the parameter Make Read Access to the Data Available in the Event of Regional Unavailability is checked. Now click Review. Quickly review the basic details. Note that we haven't set any advanced parameters in this demo, hence the default values are also retained in those sections. Now click Create. The storage account should be created successfully. Once the deployment is complete, click Go to Resource. The storage account's overview and details will be displayed. Remember that all services in Azure create containers automatically. However, in this demo, we'll see how to create a custom container in our storage account. In the left navigation pane under Data Storage, click Containers. On the Containers page that appears, click Container. The new container window will open. Type in the name of the container. Note that this name can also include only lowercase letters. Next, for the public access level, we'll retain the default value as private. Click Create when finished and you should receive a notification that the new container was created successfully. Next, let's configure an HTTP source to receive logs from the Azure service. First, log into the Sumo UI with your Sumo credentials. Select a hosted collector where you want to configure the HTTP source. If you do not have a hosted collector, Create one as described in the Configure a Hosted Collector doc page, which is linked in the description section of this video. Configure an HTTP source for your hosted collector. If you need help, refer to the HTTP Logs and Metrics source docs for the detailed steps, which are also linked in the video description section. After creating the source, make a note of the URL shown. You will need it in the next step. In the final step, we'll use a Sumo-provided Azure Resource Manager, or ARM, template to create an event hub, three Azure functions, a service bus queue, and a storage account. First, download the blobreaderdeploy.json ARM template. The URL that can be used to download this template is provided in the description section of this video. 
Note that this template uses Consumption Plan, which does not support VNet integration. Alternately, you can use Blob Reader Deploy with Premium Plan.json, which uses the Elastic Premium Plan instead. Click Create a Resource, then search for Template Deployment in the Azure Portal, then click Create. On the Custom Deployment Blade, click Build Your Own Template in the Editor. Copy the contents of the template and paste it into the Editor window, then click Save. On the Custom Deployment Blade, create a new resource group, or select an existing one. We recommend creating a new resource group while deploying the template, for help in cleaning up later. Next, choose a location. Next, set the values of the following parameters. The sumo endpoint URL is the URL for the HTTP source that you copied in the previous step. The storage account name, storage account resource group name, and storage account regions are fields from the storage account that you configured in step 1. The filter prefix field is optional, but if you want to filter logs from a specific container, enter the path shown on the screen here, but with the container name variable replaced with your specific container name. Note that resource group names cannot have underscores. Next, go to the Review and Create tab, then click Create. Verify that the deployment was successful by looking at the notifications in the top right corner of the Azure portal. In the same window, click Go to Resource Group to verify that all resources were successfully created. Next, click Storage Accounts and search for Sumo BR Logs, then select it. Note that it will have a random string attached to it. Now in the Data Storage menu, do the following. First, click Tables, then click Plus Table. Enter File Offset Map as the table name, then click OK. Then upload your test files in the container that you created in Step 1. This table will store metadata of each task created by the Producer function to send data to Sumo. The logs from Azure Block Blob Storage will now begin to flow into Sumo Logic. Note that for a custom container, you will have to create a block blob so that logs start flowing in. If logs from Azure Block Blob Storage do not start to flow into Sumo Logic, refer to the Troubleshoot Azure Blob Storage Log Collection doc page that's linked in the video description section for some troubleshooting steps. In this video, we learned how to configure an event-based pipeline for shipping logs from Azure Block Blob Storage to an event hub, onto an Azure function, and finally to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.